Hey, how you doing? It's me again. <laughs> Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. Stomping out corruption, retaliation, ticket quotas, all kinds of stuff. So today, um, today is the day after election day, de Blasio won. I want to get right into a story. Um, got a new character. <sighs> new character. Ready for a new character? <sighs> Oh, shit. Look what we got. Catwoman. Catwoman. Damn. Look at Catwoman. Yeah, that was Catwoman. Just turn my lights. Catwoman is a very interesting uh, cat. <laughs> Catwoman is uh, an insider at uh, DSNY. Had a good little conversation, a little email chat. And... Um, Found out about a hush meeting. <laughs> oh, it's hush meeting. Hush. Don't say anything about the meeting. Psst, don't say anything about the hush. Oh, it's quiet. It's a secret. <laughs> right, so, okay, so we roll the tape back in February. <clears throat> Isn't it sad that you have to come online and you gotta, you, <laughs> rather than get, rather than turn on the TV set and get real news, you gotta come, come online and, See some some joker to give you the real news about what's going on in the, in your agency. Crazy times we're living in. So anyway, there was this uh, hush meeting back in February uh, of 2017, and um, February 2017 was the time where WABC Jim Hoffer uh, broke the news about the the uh, ten ticket quota on uh, local television uh, WABC. Seven on your side, eyewitness news, and the city and its residents uh, were became aware of a ten ticket quota. Actually, the day before that, Jim Hoffer also did the story on the uh, guy in the Bronx who got uh, ninety two thousand dollars worth of uh, fake tickets. All right, so right around that time, what happened was when um, when the quota news was breaking on on TV. Um, or right before, while ABC was poking around, they were calling this guy, uh, Noel Tercy. Not Noel. What's his name? Vito Terso. <laughs> Vito Terso, right? He was the PR guy, and he's, they, you know, they, they're calling him up, get some, you know, give him a fair chance to explain uh, what Mr. Conti is saying and what these recordings are all about. And uh, Mr. Ter Terso went on national television or ABC television and said that, uh, you know, pretty much DSNY does not have a ticket quota and it never imposes any punishments to agents who don't write those tickets, okay? Absolute and complete lie, right? So there he is on TV saying that. So Garcia, then, um, this, is, this is Garcia, she then calls this hush meeting over at her office right downtown and um and says and says and i quote who gave the order for the quota right she said who gave the order right now here's the thing she's she's what she's what she, she's doing two things one is she's acknowledging the quota right she's acknowledging so who's at the meeting let's talk about that that's even more important so this meeting this hush meeting is all the top brass of um, the enforcement division, right? So that's all the white shirts, the the the, uh, the lieutenants, the captains, the sergeants. Okay, so she calls all these people in, and a couple of other ones, the the chief, uh, you know, and uh, and Mr. Burke, right? So she calls all these people into the office and asks them who gave the order for the quota. Now, that's very revealing. Because that's the commissioner. There's only one degree of separation in New York City from the commissioner to the the mayor of the city, the Blasio. So well, let me pull this up. This is um, this is on March uh, 15, 2014, right? That's when Garcia got the job from the Blasio, was appointed as a commissioner of the Department of Sanitation from the Blasio, right? And so that was about that was about you know. A year before uh, uh, Contigate, before 
I reveal the um, uh, the quota. The quota was revealed about June uh, 2015, and then it broke. And it it broke. The story officially broke on ABC in February 2017. So there was this incredible, you know, amount of time where Miss Garcia could have known about the quota. Uh, it's 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 hard to believe that she didn't that she's saying who gave the order, you know, for the quota. That seems to imply that she didn't know who did it, right? So we have to go one step back. So so if so if Garcia is taking the job in March 15, 2014, right? It's only one year, right? That's only a year, and that's and you know there's this quota thing going on for 30 years. So who gave the order, right? So we got to go one step back. Is this guy right? Here's John Doherty. John Doherty. This is John John Doherty. Now again, my I have no issues with with most of these people. I don't know. Who, I have never met John Doherty. I don't know him from a hole in the wall. But he was the commissioner of New York uh, Department of Sanitation for <clears throat> 51 years. Right. The quota allegedly has been, you know, not allegedly, f factually been going on since about the mid '80s. So, you got about a 35-year quota, right? This guy's in office for 51 years. So, where did the order come from? It came from this guy, right? And it's funneling down through, 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 uh, through, uh, through the captains and Burke, right? Because Burke. Yeah, let me bring up this. This is a uh, this is the chain of command that uh, this is the chain of command at DSNY. This is what it looks like, right? So you have this you have this um, you could see that uh, I'll just you could see that De Blasio's on top, right? And below him is Garcia. She's the commissioner. There's a lot of commissioners in the city. There's maybe like I don't know, like ten of them, and they lead the uh, major agencies in the city. And below her is Klingler, right? He's the chief, right? And then below Klingler is Burke, right? And then there's we know well, I don't want to get into the whole story of the the um, you know the, the, the fake write-ups and and uh, the chain of command, but right there, because Garcia is saying that who gave the order, right? So it has to be someone below her, right? It has to be it has to be someone be below her because if she's the commissioner, right? Then, and she doesn't know about it, or claims she doesn't know about it. Then who gave the order? So you have to go one step below her, and you see it's Klingler, right? And if you if you recall, all of uh, Klingler and and uh, all the chiefs Pompeo and all of uh, Nieves and Greenwood and, and Pepe and Pascal and Amiskita and all these people were Garnett. All these. All these people were cc'd into Burke's emails about the quota, about block face agents who fail to write ten tickets a day, right? Punish, put them on foot, right? <clears throat> so the order was coming from Burke, right? No doubt about it. But how is it possible that? See if you see on the chain of command, right? I'll pull it up again. Chain, chain of command, you've got. You've got Klingler just below Garcia, right? So if Klingler's, Klingler's aware and Garcia isn't, then it leads you no other choice than to believe that Klingler and Burke were enforcing this quota either with or without Garcia's knowledge. So let's give her the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe she didn't know about it. But that's, that's okay, you know, maybe she didn't know about it. But she, but, but the fact is, the fact is, once she knew about it, she didn't do anything about it. She didn't, she didn't stop it, right? She didn't stop it. She just, she just aggravated. <laughs> this is like, this is like Amateurville with all these slides. But anyway, so, so there you have it, right? You have this hush meeting, right? It's in February. It's the news is breaking, and Garcia's now they're all panicking. She calls in all the white shirts, and um, and they have this this uh, th this meeting and trying to figure out who did it. And right, so so it's likely that the the thing was in place, the quota was in place, and um, 
and then it was, uh, you, you know, it, it was kind of like a shh, don't say anything about the quota, oh, don't say anything about the quota, right? And then, um, and then you know, shit hit the fan, right? It's everybody in the media knows about it, right? So everybody in the city knows about it. It's on ABC. All right, so then, <clears throat> so, so what does that say about Conti versus DSNY? It says that, it says that the, the quota was absolutely, absolutely, definitely in place. I am vindicated 100% on this meeting. Now, all right, Catwoman, Catwoman, it's inside, it's good, it's good, it's a good lead. It's good information, right? Solid information, right? And, you know, and I told Doggerty, uh, not Doggerty, Flaherty, right? Mr. Flaherty at DOI, they didn't do anything about it, right? All right, who else? Oh, and 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 of course, let's talk about Miss Neal. Now, Miss Neal is 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 a high high crimes and misdemeanors here because Miss Neal is at 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 uh, DSNY is the interim, right? When you have a problem or or you you have an issue with somebody or something, you end up in EEO, the Equal Employment Opportunity Specialist Lady. Right? This. Miss Neal, right? So you're in front of Miss Neal, and you're trying to say, well, you know, is it is it racism? Is it discrimination? Is it retaliation? Is it all of the above? And and she listens, and then she she delivers her verdict, like she's judge, jury, and everybody else. But she has direct c communication with Commissioner Garcia, and this individual, in fact, was informed, right? She was informed about Pascal, you know, the the fake write up she did uh, on me, the fake. Uh, performance evaluation for the class which was one third of the whole time I was there which was a training class and where Pascal switched it from satisfactory to unsatisfactory which was you know pivotal in 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 my firing right that was a big issue right and then um and what else you know and then there's there's Amiskita you know lying on record saying and I quote let me quote him as saying this is Amiskita. This is after I complained and, uh, about, you know, racism, discrimination, and then I went in there and I and we talked about the quota. She delivered a. Uh, she actually wrote the position statement, and, and and in that, she stated the lieutenant stated that the SNY does not have a quota of tickets to be written on a daily basis. Agents are never instructed to write a certain number of tickets. So that was back in 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 January. Uh, yeah, the December, December 2016. That was a month after I was fired, right? So here they are issuing all these fake statements. When, when now, now you know they they you know that the, the quota was in place, and she co-signed it, right? Not only did she co-sign it, she actually signed it. She signed off. Here's the here's the signatures. I put these are these are kind of repeats, but again, you see that the signatures here is there's Teresa Neal. This is received and approved by Teresa Neal. Twelve. That's December fifteenth, two thousand fifteen. Right? They knew all about the quota, and 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 you know, and she just took the word of Amiskita walking into the room, lying his ass off, uh, saying that uh, Conti doesn't do his job and that there is no quota. Right? Agents are never instructed to write a certain number of tickets. Right? Signed by. Received and approved by Teresa Neal. Received and approved by Robert Orlin, Deputy Commissioner. And received and approved by Catherine Garcia, Commissioner at DSNY. <sighs> Tell you, the corruption's, it's thick. It's thick. You know, who's who's who? Who's lying here? Who's who's telling the truth? You know, you know there was a bunch of, bunch of goddamn liars, you know? A bunch of goddamn liars. The guy's got to... Gotta, gotta, you gotta tell the truth, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta tell the truth here, you know, you gotta tell the truth. So, again, February 15, there was this hush meeting, and they, they, you know, Garcia is trying to deflect the thing, you know, uh, who, who gave the order, you know, it, it's likely she inherited the, the quota, she wasn't actually enforcing it, but it was in place. And I think that that's the, uh, that's the revealing part of this, that, there was this, um, you know, this kind of panic meeting, and uh, you know, and uh, but what do you do now? You know, February, 
February 2018, right? That's when the hearing for Conti versus DSMY. That's when this hearing will be heard. It'll be heard down in appeals court, 27 Madison Avenue, First Division, First Department, right? And DSNY has until January at the at the moment. They may change it because you know they're running scared and they'll they could they'll keep trying to delay it. You know, delay, 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 delay. But on the um, January second, they will have to answer uh, the appeal and uh, my my written appeal. It's down below. Please read it. Come on, read it. Read it. Comment on it. And um, you know, in that, that would be they they must acknowledge, they must acknowledge the quota. They must acknowledge it, right? They haven't acknowledged it yet. They haven't even said a, said boo about it. So, so we'll, we're going to see. You know, they're going to they're going to you know. That's all I really wanted to say. I think that uh, we, you know we're going to keep pressing on, and uh, there's there's no retreat, no no surrender, and uh, more will be revealed. So thank you.